New research has pinpointed the exact location where the Yellowstone supervolcano is most likely to erupt. While an eruption isn't imminent, a future eruption would likely be centered on the northeastern side of the national park, according to the new study. However, it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. That doesn't mean Yellowstone will likely remain a national park when it erupts. Such an eruption is expected hundreds of thousands of years from now, study co-author Ninfa Bennington, a volcanologist seismologist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told Live Science. The research, published January 1 in the journal Nature, found that instead of being stored in one large plume beneath Yellowstone, molten magma is lurking in four separate reservoirs within the caldera's crust. When the magma melts or moves, it causes steam eruptions in Yellowstone Park. To the west, these reservoirs don't touch the deep mantle rocks that normally heat them from below, so they remain molten and vulnerable to eruption. But to the northeast, near a landmark called Sour Creek Dome, hot, deep rock is trapped within the Earth's crust. This means that while the magma beneath Yellowstone's western flank will likely begin to cool and solidify, its northeastern flank will remain hot. Previous research at Yellowstone has used earthquake waves traveling through the caldera to attempt to gauge the location of liquid magma and solid rock beneath the park. However, waves can change their behavior not only based on whether they travel through solid or liquid material, but also on temperature. This means that hot, solid rock can be difficult to distinguish from equally hot, liquid magma. This new research uses a method called magnetotellurics to get a better picture. Earth's rotating core creates a magnetic field that surrounds the planet. Because magma contains magnetic minerals, pockets of liquid magma underground create their own mini-magnetic fields that can also be detected at the surface. Using instruments located at Yellowstone, researchers are mapping these mini fields to find hidden pockets of magma. They discovered four magma chambers that, combined, contain more fluid magma than existed during the major eruptions that formed the Yellowstone caldera in the past, one 2.8 million years ago, one 1.3 million years ago, and one 640,000 years ago. This magma lies about 6 to 7 miles, 9.6 to 11.2 kilometers, below the surface, Bennington told Life Science. However, only in the northeastern region of the caldera does the magma come into contact with hot basalt rock from the mantle, which will keep the magma liquid long term. Yellowstone National Park has two distinct magma bodies beneath it. The shallower magma body, about 3 to 17 miles, 5 to 17 kilometers, below the surface, is composed primarily of rhyolite rock and is largely dense, 5 to 15 percent liquid. Bennington said. He and his colleagues estimate that the fraction of these pores filled is 20 percent or less, similar to estimates in other studies. The concentration of magma in these pore spaces is much lower, so there's less pore space filled with magma, he said. This means these magmas can't connect with each other to move and erupt. However, as hot rocks warm the northeastern magma pool over tens of thousands of years, this could change. How long it will take, or if it will happen at all, before the rocks in the northeastern region of Yellowstone lose contact with their magma reservoir remains unknown. Yellowstone isn't just known for its forests, geysers, or beautiful mountains. Beneath all that beauty lies one of the world's most closely watched supervolcanoes, a massive geologic system capable of erupting so violently that it could alter the global climate. For decades, scientists have been tracking what's happening beneath the surface, looking for signs that the underground magma is moving, or worse. If the volcano were to suddenly erupt, 
most of humanity in the US could become extinct.